You know what? I get it. For the longest time, I thought AI was just another fancy toy, something way out of reach for folks like us who built our businesses one customer, one sale, one sleepless night at a time. But as we've discussed in previous episodes, AI isn't just for the big players anymore. It's actually become our secret weapon. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to talk you through something that could genuinely change how you run your business. Not with empty promises or flashy tech talk, but with a real practical roadmap that can help your business practically run itself. To start, imagine being able to step away for a weekend or a vacation without that familiar knot in your stomach wondering what's falling apart while I'm gone. This isn't about jumping on some trendy bandwagon. This is about reclaiming your time, boosting your bottom line, and finally getting that peace of mind you've been chasing since you first hung up your shingle. Here's the reality we're all living in. AI has quietly become faster, smarter, and more accessible than ever before. You don't need a computer science degree or a team of tech wizards on payroll. You just need to know where to start and how to avoid the pitfalls that trip up so many well-meaning business owners. I'm going to show you exactly how to do this from the very basics to setting up systems that will make your business hum like a well-oiled machine. These aren't theories. These are battle-tested strategies I've seen work for business owners who felt completely stuck, but managed to break through to that next level of success and freedom. The first step, get brutally honest with what's stealing your life. Start with a reality check, noting it might sting a little. Most of us business owners feel like we're drowning because we're buried neck deep in that day-to-day stuff that honestly, anyone could handle. But the cost, you know what I'm talking about. Answering the same emails over and over, playing phone tag to schedule meetings, chasing down invoices, explaining the same procedures over and over again. So here's what I want you to do right now. Write down every single task that makes you think, ugh, not this again. Be honest. These repetitive soul-sucking tasks aren't just annoying. They're what's keeping you trapped in your business instead of truly leading it. Step two match your pain with the right solution. Now, here's where it gets a bit exciting. You don't need to boil the ocean here. Pick your biggest headache and solve that first. Drowning in emails and endless scheduling back and forth? Tools like Google Workspace or Microsoft 365 have gotten scary good at sorting your inbox, setting up meetings, and sending reminders you always forget. Bookkeeping, making you want to pull your hair out? QuickBooks and Gusto now use AI to catch mistakes before they become problems. Automate payments so you're not manually processing payroll. And keep your records so organized, your accountant might actually smile. And those customer questions that interrupt your day every five minutes? ChatGPT or Zendesk AI can handle the simple stuff and only loop you in when things actually need your attention. Step three. Set your AI up for success and your sanity. Here's something most people get wrong. They think AI is magic. It's not. It's more like training a really efficient assistant. You need to tell it exactly what you want. Set up email filters so only the truly important stuff lands in your inbox. Program your systems to give you a heads up before deadlines, not after you've already missed them. Create a knowledge base with answers to all those questions then let your AI handle them instantly. The key is being specific. Don't just say, help with the emails. Say, only show me emails from clients, vendors asking for payment approval, or anything marked urgent. Step four, get your team on board without drama. Let's be real. Your team might be nervous about this. Nobody wants to feel like they're being replaced by a robot. But here's how to frame it. This isn't about replacing anyone. It's about freeing up everyone to do the work that actually matters. Show them how these tools make their jobs easier, better, not harder. Run quick training sessions. Keep them short and hands-on. Make sure everyone knows who to ask when they get stuck. And most importantly, celebrate the wins together. When your customer service rep can solve problems faster, your bookkeeper catches errors before they become costs and mistakes. Make sure everyone knows about it. And step five, keep score and stay on track. This is where the magic really happens. Use a dashboards, 
How many hours did you save this week? How many fewer mistakes occurred? How much faster are you responding to customers? And share these wins with your team. Nothing builds momentum like seeing real results on paper. And here's a beautiful part. As you see what's working, you can gradually add more tools where they make sense, but only then. Don't fix what isn't broken. So what are some common mistakes to avoid? Trying to automate everything at once. It's like trying to renovate your entire house in one weekend. Start with one or two pain points. Get those humming smoothly. Then, and only then, add the next piece. Your team will thank you, and you'll actually see results instead of creating more chaos. Another mistake? Setting it up and forgetting about it. AI is smart, but it's not psychic. Check your numbers weekly. Look for patterns. If something feels off, adjust your settings. Think of it like tending a garden. A little regular attention keeps everything growing beautifully. Building a culture that embraces smart solutions. Here's what separates the businesses that thrive from AI from those that struggle. Recognize team members who embrace these tools and share quick wins in your team meetings. And keep communication open so problems get solved quickly instead of festering. When your people see that AI makes their work more meaningful and less tedious, they become your biggest advocates for a positive change. The bottom line? AI is not about replacing the human touch that makes your business special. It's about eliminating the busy work that's been stealing your energy and keeping you from the work that only you can do, growing your business, leading your people, and yes, actually enjoying the life you're working so hard to build. So start with your biggest pain point. Pick one tool, set it up thoughtfully, train your team with patience, track your wins, then only when you're ready, add the next piece. This approach, it's simple, focused, and designed for real business owners who want real results without adding more complexity to their already full place.